Welcome to my channel about Unity development. In the last video, I talked about how variable works in G-Sharp. And today, I'm going to talk about Array and List. Imagine you have to store a value. And you can define your variables like this on the screen. Let's say you want to store more variables of the same type. You can of course create more variables. But if you have to store more, there's no reason to keep on creating variables on a script like this. So instead, we can create an integer array. We define our array like this. First, we define the type of our array. Then we type a square bracket like this to tell the system that this is an array. And last, we name our variables. We can think of array as in multiple bags that store all the variables. Let's imagine each bag will store one single value. Now, here is important things. Each bet we have an index which we can assign or retreat with value. We have to remember that the index number always starts with zero. So when we work on array, we have to put the index within a pair of open and close square brackets to indicate which bet that you are manipulating. Let me show you a real example on Visual Studio. First, we define our integer array variables. Then before we start assigning data onto it, we need to tell the system how many integers you want to store. It is like you have to decide how many bags you want to bring in to a supermarket before entering. Next, we can start assigning values into the array like this. And last, this is how you can retrieve the value from the array. If you know your initial values, you can assign those when you define how big your array is like this. This can save you from writing an extra few lines of code. Apart from using array, we also have something we call list. List is very similar to array, but it has a few differences. When we define list, we first need to tell the system that this is a list. And inside the arrow brackets, we need to define the types. In this example, it is integer. And last, we name our variables as usual. Same as array, we also have index which starting from zero when we want to retrieve value or assign value onto it. And now, I'm going to show you how we can use it in Visual Studio. First, we define the variables as always on the top of the script. And before we start manipulating the list, we have to tell the system to make a little list and assign memory onto it. And this time, we don't have to tell the system how many items we want to have in the list. You see? When using a list, we do need to know the size in the beginning and it is possible to add item or remove item at runtime. So in this line, I'm going to add a new integer which makes the line has a new integer. And I can also add one more and this new integer will be become the second item. This can also remove an item using index of the list. Or if you use remove and it removes the first item it finds. And last, is it possible to clean the list, so you don't have any item on the list. You might think list is much more user friendly, but it comes with a cost. Using a list could cost more memory than using array. Therefore, if you know the size of the array in the beginning, it's better off to use array. If you don't, you might have to use list instead. I believe this is all for today. Let's do focus on more fundamental element on the program in next time. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit a like on this video. I will see you soon. Goodbye.